How's it going, everybody? It's Michael from theloftestparty.com. Thanks for checking out the channel. America, it's intervention time. To all the people who support Nancy Pelosi, I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but you guys really need to have a, a Dr. Phil moment right now and face a hard reality. This relationship you think you're in with Nancy Pelosi, it isn't real. It's toxic. You need to get out. You live at the the dead end of a one-way street. You need to wake up and smell the coffee. Y'all are worried about a bicycle built for two. Nancy is on a unicycle headed back to Nancy Town. Population, not you. America, wake up. She's just not into you. Nancy Pelosi does not care. Not one little teeny tiny bit. And to watch people keep crawling back to her, looking for help, like you're in a relationship, is just sad. It's pathetic at this point. This last year has been the worst, and I can't sit back and watch you humiliate yourself anymore. A year ago, when the whole Wuhan thing was kicking off, was she looking out for you? No. She was focused on her twisted relationship, her bizarre fascination with the Donald. I don't know what it is. I just can't quit him. I got to impeach him. I think about him day and night. I can't let him go. Impeach. Defend the Constitution. The Donald. The Donald. And meanwhile, America's like, hey, hey, we're over here. Shouldn't you care a little bit? Shut up, you guys. I'm doing important stuff about the Donald. I got to get him. I got to get him. So then the lockdowns came. You're not allowed to work. You're not allowed to make money. How are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to buy food? Well, don't ask your girlfriend, Nancy, because she doesn't care. She's in her house eating ice cream from her expensive refrigerator. This is just how I live. I'm so happy. She doesn't even know you exist. And then when you finally get mad and you demand, uh, Nancy, come on. What's going on here? Shouldn't you pay some attention to me? She's like, okay, you guys. Okay, just wear a mask. Don't go outside and I'll try to get you some money, but just don't go outside where I'm at. Don't get your hair cut. Meanwhile, she was cheating on us. She was out there getting her hair cut, not wearing a mask, doing God knows what with God knows who. That was enough. That's when I thought you'd finally break up with her, America, but you kept coming back for more. All she had to do was, sh was shell out some empty promises. Don't be mad, baby. I'll give you $600. We're good. You're my number one. I love you so much. It's $600. $600? That's embarrassing. It's sad. And I thought you would have walked away then. But then she made it a little bit better. I'll give you $2,000. I'll give you $2,000. Yeah, all you got to do is vote for my friends. Vote for my friends. We'll give you $2,000. And you went crawling back to her. You believed her lies because... Once they got power, that 2000 turned into 1400 real quick. You can't trust her. And then she can't even write the check. She doesn't even have time to write the check because she's back with her twisted fascination with the Donald again. I'm going to impeach him one more time. I swear, I'll give you guys some stimulus money because I care about you. Right after I impeach him, I got to impeach the Donald. We got to get the Donald. Isn't that embarrassing? Isn't that embarrassing? Grow a spine. Get out of this relationship. She doesn't care what happens to you. $2,000, $1,400. Her real fascination is the Donald. Her real fascination is her love affair with herself. America, wake up. Nancy just doesn't care. It's time to see other people.